and f of x is x square minus 4x cube plus 4x square plus 15 is strictly decreasing. The given function is f of x is equal to x power 4 minus 4x cube plus 4x square plus 15. So we need to find it is strictly increasing. Huh? So if to find strictly increasing, first what we should do? Differentiating with respect to x. Differentiating with respect to x. Equation 1. Equation 1. We get f dash of x will be equal to 4x for me which is 4x cube. Differentiation minus 4. x cube differentiation is 3x square plus 4. x square differentiation is 2x plus constant is 0. We are using the formula here. The formula to write the power is x power n will be n x n minus 1 for uh, writing the values of uh, x square x cube. We are using this formula of differentiation. Then we get f dash of x will be 4 x cube minus 4 threes are 12 x square plus 4 twos are 8 x. So now we will be finding first term that is for f of x, f of x to be increasing, to be increasing, to be increasing, we must, we must take f dash of x is greater than 0. So, we will take this value that is uh, x, 4x cube minus 12x square plus 8x is greater than 0. So, if it is greater than 0, we can take, what is common in all three? We can take 4 is common and x is common. If I take 4x common, it will become x square minus 4 threes are 12x plus 4 twos are 8 is greater than 0. So, we can write this as 4x into, now we can write, expand this 2 as 2. 2 ones are 2 that is minus 2 minus 1. We can write it as x minus 2 and x minus 1. It is in the expanded form. We are writing it in the expanded form. So that when you multiply we should get, when you add you should get minus 3. Then 0. 4x goes as I said become 0. Then it will become x minus 2 and x minus 1 is greater than 0. So now if you find the interval for the given function, that is if you get the answer for the given function interval, we get we get here x minus 2 is greater than 0 means x is equals to 2. That is x is greater than 2. Then x minus 1 is greater than 2 means it is x greater than 1. We get a 2 point. So we can write here uh, the interval we can draw that uh, line for that only minus infinity to infinity. We can take where the point what we got here we got the 0 will be there always. So we get a point 0.1 and point 0.2. So we need to check the condition for the given point. What will be the condition for the given point? For x greater than 0. We can take any one value from here. This 0 to uh, infinity to 0 we can take. That is the interval from in minus infinity to 0. We can take any one value. We will take minus 1 and we will check 1. So if you take here to check the condition whether it is a positive or negative in the interval we can take any one of the value from minus infinity to 0 we are taking minus 1 and substitute that in this equation too and find the answer we are getting minus 24 which is uh, uh, greater than 0 or which is lesser than 0 it is lesser than 0 right so here this will be negative value then we can take from 0 to 1 any one value from 0 to 1 if you take and if you calculate that is if I, I take it as 0 only 4 into uh, 0 uh, minus 12 into 0 plus 8 into 0. So 0 here will get the answer as uh, 0 here it will be will be equal to 0 that will be here will get positive answer. We can take it as positive only so 0. Then you can take from 0 1 to 2. 1 to 2 I can take any one of the value so it will be 1 by 2 also 1 by here we can take 1 by 2 and check if you get confused with this. We can take 1 by 2. That will be 1 by 2 
cube minus 12 into 1 by 2 square plus 8 into 1 by 2. So we can take this and check for half uh, 0 to 1. We can be half also. Na? So it will be 4 into 1 by 8 uh, minus 12 into 1 by 4 uh, plus 8 into 1 by 2. So we can cancel 2 1 time, 2 4 time, uh, 4 1 time, 4 3 time, 4 1 time, 4 2 time. So it will become 1 by 2 minus 3 plus 4. That will be 1 by 2 plus 1. That will be 3 by 2. So the value is positive. So we get positive value. Fine. So like this we will be checking each and every point which we get in the interval. So we have then a 1 to 2, uh, we get a negative value if you check with any of the number there and then the last one will get it as positive. Therefore, we can say that, therefore, we can conclude here, we can conclude, therefore, therefore, f of x, f of x to be increasing, to be increasing at 2, comma infinity and 1 comma 0. It is increasing in these two points. The interval is increasing in these two points. Hence it is proved.